and welcome to the VHF UHF channel and um, I wanted to talk a little bit about some of these radios that are coming out to the market now so you know it used to be that uh, most of the time when you wanted to have uh, VHF airband capabilities um, most portable shortwave receivers had only AM FM and shortwave on them or long wave also but more and more of these are actually coming up with the airband and this is interesting because for somebody that would like to listen to the VHF airband especially when you live close to a um, airport uh, lots of radios today um, actually have the airband included so um, a few examples um, so here you just heard Air Canada on this one so the antenna is not even extended so kind of nice so of course so you see here that you know we're getting air band communications on these so this one is the XH data D808 long wave medium wave AM FM receiver very complete with single sideband air band capability so listens to the air band from 118 to 137 megahertz kind of cool uh, less expensive, the RadiWow R108 here, which does not have single sideband, but still has the airband. Kind of nice. Kind of nice to see that the airband is included in uh, these radios. Other example, the Texan PL680 that I have has airband. Uh, Degen D1106 has the airband. And it is more and more interesting to see that actually we are uh, getting more of these little receivers that have the airband. So, um, you know, if you um, are into airband communications and if you have a little something that will perform well on the shortwave bands, well, these radios are very capable receivers, not super expensive, and uh, they do add airband capabilities, which is very nice, actually. So, you know, you're out at the airport, you're on a day outside, maybe, and you live somewhere where there's a lot of uh, air uh, communications. Um, well, you know what? You've got a radio that will do it. You don't need to have that scanner radio with you. Just your little portable shortwave will uh, actually be enough to uh, tune in uh, the airband. And this is actually quite quite nice. So um, these, you know, I wanted to talk about these because sometimes you just don't want to bring out that scanner radio. Or maybe you don't have a scanner radio. You'd like to have a multi-band radio that has airband. Well, check them out. There's a lot of these that are actually um, including the airband today, and um, it's a, it's a nice add-on. Now, in in performance, I, I now these I haven't tested enough yet to give you an idea of performance on the airband. But if I look at my Texan PL680 or my uh, Dijon D1106, they are okay. But of course. If you are really a big fan of air communications, the airband communications, most of these don't perform as well as a dedicated radio scanner, for example. Um, I would say that even uh, a basic scanner radio actually probably outperforms the airband capabilities of these. But they're fun if you don't want to, you know, bring along any other radios, just have one. You'll know you'll be doing a little bit of air communications. And if you live near an airport where signals tend to be stronger, it, um, it, it, it could be enough also. But like I said, these two, the Radio Wow and the XH Data, I still don't have tested the airband sensitivity enough to really compare it. But it will be interesting. And we'll, we'll post more videos of these radios on this channel if you're uh, kind of intrigued. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.